We've come a long, long way together Through the hard times and the good I have to celebrate you, baby I have to praise you like I should We've come a long, long way together Through the hard times and the good I have to celebrate you, baby I have to praise you like I should We've come a long, long way together Through the hard times and the good I have to celebrate you, baby I have to praise you like I should What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the vlog. So you're joining me on a lovely sunny Saturday. This weather in England has been hashtag peng. The heat wave is real, but we are firemen. We live in the heat. Anyway, just got done with workout number one of the day. Kind of light one body weight, trying to keep healthy. I've already done shoulder stretches before, which I do every day as well. Had a good week of training, feeling kind of sore today though. I don't really take rest days unless I absolutely feel I have to. If not, be more like an active recovery. So tomorrow, I probably won't do any skill work, but I'll go on like a 40, 45 minute bike ride. So what's new with me? I'm fighting September 1st in Brentwood, Essex, Rise of Champions. I've taken the vlog there before. It's Brad Pickett's show. So that should be good. Got lots of training in the meantime to get done. So I'm just on my way home now from the park. I do enjoy getting workouts in the sun, keep things interesting. I've been lifting weights and stuff since I was like 16, 17, even though you wouldn't believe it. So it is nice to mix things up. I don't lift that many weights anymore. I prefer doing like body weight. In my opinion, training consistently is kind of the most important way to go about things. Intensity can be mixed up and down depending. And if you're gonna be consistent, you've got to actually enjoy your training. So you've got to do stuff you enjoy. And yeah, I like having the sun on my back, I like working out outdoors, even though you wouldn't know it. Absolute ghost as always. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna get home, grab some food. Here we go, here's lunch. We've got some toasted shibata white bread, which I am artistically applying some hummus to. I've never been scared of white bread. After that, we're gonna put on some avocado. I've got about half here. Next up, we've got some cucumber. Looking fresh and tasty, give a bit of crunch to the sandwich. And then finally, I cooked this chicken last night, some organic chicken breast. It was going out of date, so make sure it doesn't go to waste and then it's a really quick lunch for me. I'm gonna whack that in. Oh, kind of hard though how I've cut it up. The great leaning tower of chicken. Now on top of that, to add a bit of kick, we got the Frank's hot sauce. Don't want too much because it is quite strong, but just to give the hummus and stuff a kick, hopefully that's going to be banging. New creation, never made it before. I always do this as well. I put the bottom on the top, which is a pet hate of mine, really stupid, but boom, see how well that stays in. Got to give it a taste test on camera. That is a monstrous little wedge. So it's falling out already. So guys, dessert is gonna be this chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream and then this peanut butter cup ice cream. So the brand Halo Top, I've seen it a lot on YouTube, like mainly fitness American YouTubers, and I never got to try it, but basically it's like low calorie ice cream. So I think this one is about as high as it gets, 360 calories, a whole tub, and this one's 320, but some flavors go down to like 280. And I tried my first one last weekend, which was sea salt caramel, which is about pretty much my favorite flavor. I'm mad for anything caramel. And I tell you what, it was unreal for, for the fact that it's low calories. Like I tried the protein one before from whatever the other brand was, like back in the day, that wasn't any good. But this stuff is unbelievable. It is pretty expensive, not gonna lie, but 
my opinion, worth the money, definitely. So I'm gonna try a bit of both. So I wouldn't leave this ice cream out too long because it does start to, uh, oh, that's a big scoop there. So we've got two decent sized scoops. Uh, it does start to melt quite quickly. So apparently there's no artificial sweeteners, no artificial flavors, no trans fat. So I'm not entirely sure what it's made of exactly. I mean, here it just says like milk, eggs, some sweetener, and then a variety of different bits and bobs like oils and organic sweeteners, but it tastes pretty close to ice cream. Okay, so let's try this chocolate chip cookie dough one first. Mm, pretty good, pretty good. Other one, so there's peanut butter. Oh, it's really peanut buttery. It always surprises me with peanut butter ice cream. I never know quite how much I'm going to like it because I love peanut butter, love it with chocolate, but then I'm like, is it going to be a bit too intense? But actually, the flavor's good, still pretty creamy. Obviously not quite as good as like haagen -Dazs or something like that, but as like low, low calorie ice cream goes, that's unbelievable. The sea salt caramel one that I had last week though, I think I slightly prefer that to these two flavors, but I think that's just personal preference. So guys, just gonna chill out for a bit. Watch a little bit of Wimbledon. It's Djokovic versus Nadal in like the semi-final. Finals tomorrow, and unfortunately the GOAT. The GOAT is not in it. My all-time favorite sportsman, not just person, not MMA, anything, sportsman, is Roger Federer. He's already got beat, but that dude's my idol. If I could meet one sportsman in my life, I'd meet Roger. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in a bit before my next workout. Okay, people, so I just got done watching some technique videos. I try and watch technique every day, expand my knowledge. Super important in my opinion. And now I'm gonna have afternoon snack. So we're going team carbs, strawberries, raspberries, a banana in there, an apple, I think it's a jazz, and then two of these medjool dates. Guys, these might actually be the nicest medjool dates I've ever had. Look at that, that is like pure sugar. Nature's caramel. So I'm gonna let all that digest for a bit, have one more chill out and then hit my home workout. So what I'm gonna do is do 10 rounds, 30 seconds break, three minutes a round. I'm gonna do three on the cross trainer, two shadow boxing, and then five on the bag, mixing it all up. So this morning's workout was more just to try and keep everything healthy, be able to move my own body weight. If I do do weights, like I was saying earlier, it's not really my main thing. I don't try and do it to boost my athletic performance so much specifically. I just do it to keep everything moving, stay healthy. This afternoon's workout is more what I like to prioritize, more skill work and cardio work, which is what I think is probably most important for fighting. So I will catch you at the next workout.
that workout there showed three rounds out of the ten as I go along I like to kind of up the intensity start doing more combinations to help with the cardio do four shots do three shots like uh, straights and adding in hooks as well and then you can put kicks off that as well it's a bit of a sweat box in here without uh, the doors being open so I'm like six seven weeks out still got loads of time lots of hard work being done already which is good so I will see you guys Dinner. Here's dinner. We've got a chicken Caesar salad. So there's lettuce, there's uh, cherry tomato in there, extra parmesan, anchovies in the sauce, bit of mayo in the sauce. Most people probably know how a uh, salad like this works. And I've got some buttery salt and pepper, new potatoes on the side, probably slam some ketchup on that. And I've got some orange and mango juice too to wash it all down. So dessert is going to be just some of this strawberry yogurt. It's coming up to 7 o'clock and Polaris is about to start which is in the UK. And if you don't know for whatever reason, it's a professional BJJ setup. So there's basically different types of matches, super matches and all this stuff. Notice as well how I don't say fight. But it is actually a really good card and I'm looking forward to a number of the matchups. Especially my friend Ashley Williams from Swansea. He's competing against the legend himself, Imanari. So... Really looking forward to that, and I'm going to chill out for the rest of the evening. So, hope you've enjoyed the video. Smash the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.